Welcome back, geeks. And it's that time again. It's time to... It's all Avengers Infinity War Funko Pops. The movie isn't that far away, and I just got a mother load over here. I have almost all of them except for some of the exclusives. I'll go with what of those exclusives look like or whatever as we open them up. And I got a lot, so let's get to work. We're going to start off with the first in the series, number 285, which is the I... Uh, the new Iron Man. Oh, let's open it and check him out. All right. So let's check him out. This is I the new Iron Man. He has wings, which is the first big thing we notice. He's actually kind of flying. He's got an open blaster arm. He's got like the, the Mega Man thing going on. You can see at the bottoms of his boots are uh, are little blue fire blasts. See if we can get a little better look at that. See that? That's pretty cool, right, guys? So this is the Iron Man, and that is one of the first exclusives that I didn't get. Um, I believe he's an Fye exclusive. If I'm wrong, then don't kill me. But it's basically the same bobblehead, but it's Tony Stark head on it, and not just a helmet. I prefer the helmeted version. I don't. I'm not a big fan of the unmasked characters, but that's just me. So I don't I don't have that one, but I do have Iron Man. And let's follow that up with number 286, the Funko Pop for Thor from Thor from Avengers Infinity War. He is rocking a new weapon in this pop, and it was this is I think one of the ones of the spoilers that he was getting a new weapon in the movie. A lot of people saw him carrying this hammer axe around. There he is. Check him out. Let's just throw this box away. Let's get a better look at this guy. Let's see. Now the one thing I find awkward is that at the end of uh, Thor Ragnarok, he was rocking a metal eye thing like Odin had, and now. I, they didn't put that on here, so I don't know if he gets his eye back and he's just going to be rocking a scar. But uh, I like in this new Thor, he's still rocking the short hair. He's gotten much darker attire to go along with this rougher exterior and this homemade kind of looking weapon. Oh, that's cool. Thor, Odin's son. Thor Ragnar. And, but it's time to keep moving on because we got a lot of pops to open up. So, next, following the consecutive order of things, is 287 Iron Spider. Now, I wasn't 100% sure I was going to get him, because I have a few Spider-Mans already over in my collection, including the uh, Superior Spider-Man. But, I'm hoping that somewhere along the line they come out with a variant version of this guy or a chase where he has the arms kind of like they have on that from the comics and you've seen in some of the previous. He's, you know, not too different. He's got the colors of the costume. He's got his hand out ready to sling some web. He's a little shinier than you would have in the normal suit. There's the iron spider design in the center. Check that out. Oh. That's Iron Spider-Man from the Infinity War Funko Pops. Uh, let's see what else we got going on here. Next up is Captain America? Question mark because I don't know if he's going to be referred to as Captain America in the movie. I mean, I'm sure they will still because that's who his character is. There he is, Captain America. Now, here we have the Captain America from Infinity War. You can see. He's rocking the beard that everybody is loving, and all the all the uh, ladies are loving, you know, bearded cap. He's got a black star in the middle of his chest. In the trailers, he looked his outfit looks more black than this. It's got you know some of the shades of the red and white, but I, it, to me it looked like it was blacker. So I mean, 
maybe he does have an attire that looks a little darker and he cleans himself up a little bit in the movie, but not for the pop they didn't do it that way. Um, I think it would have been cool if they would have had him. He just seems too plain and boring. He's just a generic pose. They should have added the sheet, that new shield on his hands or something. Again, maybe they'll come out with something like that in the future. But I'll mess over here. So, following up Captain America, we have our baddie from the movie. It is Thanos. Now, this is not the Walmart exclusive, which has the infinity going like glowing and it might be a slightly different pose um but this is just the standard Thanos and he was not that easy to find either uh i found one when i found him it was at a think geek store um he may have been one of two they still had there i think i saw him at a gamestop when i was checking the looking around for these guys but check out Thanos. He's rocking that Infinity Gauntlet. He's gone sleeveless and helmetless. Which, I mean, on my opinion, I'm not sure how crazy I am about him with no, like, armor or stuff. But he's Thanos. He doesn't need to be covered in armor head to toe. He just looks pretty cool that way. And, uh, so that was Thanos. He, you know, here's the back of him. He's coat per se goes down a little bit but of course best part the infinity gauntlet with all the stones so will he get all of them in the movie is this another spoiler we don't know we'll have to wait for the movie to come out to find out but we got to keep moving on we got a lot to go for now so after thanos we have part of his black order corvius blade this is corvius now, again, I wasn't sure if I was going to get the uh, any of the bad guys other than Thanos, just because I uh, wasn't crazy about any of their designs. But this one was okay because it's got a lot of details in his in his uh, attire. He's holding a weapon. I'm assuming it's a he. And just let's get some focus in here. So check out some of that stuff. The detail on that costume. It's got a long drape like back. He's got these spikes on his head. He's got this weapon in his hand. Obviously, that'll represent something in the movie. Corvius Glaive, a member of the Black Order. The Black Hand. I don't you know, remember exactly what it's called. So, that was that guy. And moving on from Corvius, we have probably which was the, the most lackluster for me, I'm sorry of the order was Evan Maw because again he just seemed kind of generic so let's get Evan open up and check him out these guys like to jump right out of the plastic when you open this when you start letting their pressure off I saw so many of these guys where their bodies were all twisted and stuff so this is Evan Maw he's got a nice white face you can kind of see him out wearing some black gloves maybe that's kind of a weapon on his hands something that covers the knuckles and he's a fighter oh he's got a little ponytail back there I didn't, you know you can't see that stuff when you're just in, looking at the box but that's Evan Maw closer look at this character there is a another member of the black hand that's a Walgreens exclusive and I actually thought he looked pretty cool I haven't been able to locate it maybe in the near future, I'll uh, be able to find him somewhere at one of the local shops. I gotta be on the lookout when I go to Walgreens or have my wife look for me because I know there's one near her work. This one is <clears throat> Proxima Midnight. If I'm butchering her name, I'm sorry. Let's put her on her little stand here. There is Proxima Midnight. Again, she's got a weapon. Now we know. I definitely know it. It's a female character got a scar on her face, a little black thing on her chin, the uh, armored arm, you know, kind of opposite the boots, the same gold armor, and that weapon. Little uh, tried look thing, and looks like she's wearing a mask. That's Proxima Midnight. 
the third member that I have of the Black Order, Thanos' Black Art Order, and the third villain. So now we're moving on to the next in the lineup. That would be Groot or Team Groot because he is evolving and aging as the movies go along, which is also pretty cool. You know, we had Baby Groot in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And by the end of it, at the, at the post credits, he was Teenage Groot. And now he's looking pretty badass. He's got that gun in his hand. You can see, uh, let's get some detail again. He's kind of, his, uh, that leafy part of his head is kind of draped over, kind of like an emo-ish hairdo. He's got a lot of green in his head because he's a teenager, he's constantly growing. Some of the bark detail on the back. It's Groot, it's gonna be awesome. He's uh, a sassy teenager causing trouble. Let's move on to Black Widow. Now, she does not appear on the back of the box with the rest of these people, which is kind of a shame, but her number does follow the order, like post the uh, last guy. So, she is rocking the blonde hair like we saw in all the previews, and she's got a different attire in this uh, movie than she does in the, North, the previous movies. She's not... Alright, here is Black Widow. She's got a new weapon. It kind of looks like the stick she had in the lap, well, um, Age of Ultron, but you know, kind of put together in a bow staff kind of way. It's got that blue to it, and this is the uh, new attire I was mentioning. She's got gun holsters on her hips, on her thigh, on her legs, but she's looking more military in this with the green oh. Or, uh, center piece and the black in the rest of the tire, brown on her belt, less spy-like and more like a soldier. She's you know she's prepared for battle, so maybe that's the whole point of it. Um, and now this is the first exclusive I picked up because I was in Hot Topic when I got him. Hot Topic exclusive vision. Um, I picked up some other things there and. I saw him, I'm like, yeah, I did not know that even existed. He is one of the few exclusives I did actually pick up. I didn't purposely go out of my way to find him. It was just a ha luck to find him. And I thought it was pretty cool because here he is. It's Vision for Age, uh, Avengers Affinity War. The cape is almost transparent like... See that yellow is kind of see-through with the pink in the middle. It's kind of a new looking cape. There's the back of his head if I hold him. He's got he's a little darker in appearance than I think usually is. And he's levitating, which I thought was cool. There is the Hot Topic exclusive vision to add to the collection. I thought that was pretty cool when I saw him and I'm, I'm so happy I found him. And I'm not going to open the last Infinity one yet. This one is just a bit of a bonus. I found him the same time I found uh, Vision. It's Korg from Thor Ragnarok. I loved Thor Ragnarok and Korg was a great comedy relief with, um, want to start a revolution? Uh, you know, I just had to get him because he was cool. It's a thick, heavy one. You can see rocking this long weapon the rock detail is pretty cool and this is just a bit of a, a bonus open cord from Ragnarok but I think this is the one I've been waiting to open up the most is the Hulkbuster from Avengers Infinity War I am excited about this one because I didn't start my collector's core until a, you know a couple boxes after they did a Hulkbuster, and that original Hulkbuster was quite pricey. To find, if I found, I when I've seen it available, I would love to buy it. But I just 
I couldn't justify spending sometimes close to 50 bucks for it and other times it just didn't work out so here is the Hulk Buster he is big and heavy look at that I got to back him away from the screen just to get a, a good view of him and he does bobblehead you know he's got his core right in the middle let's get a closer look at some of these details of the, the six inch Hulk Buster He's got some rocket booster on the back and just some cool, cool detail on this guy. And obviously, he is not getting displayed inside that case back there. He's going to have to go on top because he's a little big for it. Now, that's all of the Avenger Infinity Wars Funkos I have. Give me your thoughts and opinion on that, all these guys. I have no idea how I'm going to fit all of them up there in that box. I'm going to have to move some of those uh, other characters out. But uh, thanks for sticking with me for this video. And <coughs> go see Avengers Infinity War when it comes out. I'll be there April 26th. <laughs> thanks for watching.